is the performance of the word in your life and the gap is too wide to convince them and so every time you tell them i'm going to church they say save johnny carry this your burden of religion out of my face let me manage the spirits that i'm dealing with now whether it's through appeasal or occultic manipulation let me just be managing it there but here comes a generation ladies and gentlemen men who will understand this thing with power that we will demonstrate such levels of power dominion over this unclean spirit that it should not take one year to get spirits out of a family it should not take one year for god's sake to rewrite the story of a person one time they showed me they showed me true story i think maybe we may even be a family here they showed me the photo of one of their fathers the legs here i mean the whole thing you could see the bone because I don't know what kind of condition that was. I just know it is of the devil. I've had the honor of seeing and being part of phenomenal miracles. And even as a man of God, you will think walking in this dimension for many years will get you used to it. Every spectacular manifestation of the hand of God leaves everybody, including the vessel, in awe. You stand and you say, God, what is this? What is this? A family called me one time, a simple prayer for them, and this satanic spirit just gave way. And my goodness, the doors that opened for them. Now the woman there in UK, she's giving birth next, next month, I think, or something, and property they've not been able to. And these are people who love God. They have served God. Let me speak over your life. In the name of Jesus, every spirit that followed you here, Provided this is koinonia and we bear the name of the Lord, it must let you go now. It must let you go now. Listen, sit down please. Behind the widespread tragedy of men, the widespread tragedy of families, parents, the widespread tragedy around your children, be it academic in nature, be it health-wise, be it career-wise, do not think any sustained problem in your family is void of the participation of spirits. The longevity factor behind any problem is because of the presence of spirits. Hallelujah. They will turn a great child with a great destiny to become like a fool in the presence of his parents and the devil will handpick from a very christian family so that he will use that as a message to make it look like serving god does not pay i hope you know that when he does these things it's not just because he's evil that he uses men as a portrait to write a letter to creation that god is not faithful so someone will say, this family that loves the Lord, missionaries, serving the purposes of God, look at the kind of useless children they build. One is a drunkard. The other one is a prostitute. The other one does not even know what he's doing. The other person is this and that. Is this how God rewards? If this is the Jesus you are bringing, I'd rather not go and hell says, come. My apologies sorry about that are we together now yes so you find out that these kinds of things is what satan does in many families do you know that one manifestation of dominion over spirits can bring a whole region to jesus by the time your child that everybody has concluded on that this one will never be saved because when you give him 20 naira, you know what he's going to do with it. When you give him 100 naira, the moment anything is missing in the house, you already know the thief. Not by word of knowledge, but because of the kind of spirit that is at work in that child. You are advising him, he will sit down like this. Are you going to change? Yes. The pastors will even pray. He will kneel down and say amen. And stand up from that place right to go and do exactly what you have said. Because it is not by might. It is not by power. While you were in that meeting, you were dealing with human bodies, but the spirits behind them were also watching you, knowing that you will waste your time. Time does not drive spirits. 
Anger does not drive spirits. Discussion does not drive spirits. Sentiments does not drive spirits. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you. Can I tell you, God is speaking to a family. If you do not contend for power over unclean spirits, you will lose your loved ones to Satan. You will lose your loved ones to curses. Don't wait until they kill all your parents, kill all your children, kill all your loved ones. Rise up as a believer that you are and say in the name of Jesus, I have dominion, dominion over unclean spirits. Hallelujah. Dominion over unclean spirits. Listen. There are spirits that are assigned to individuals. There are spirits that are assigned to ministerial offices. They are not assigned to a person. So Apostle Joshua Selman as a ministerial office has a spirit assigned to it. What is the assignment? Destroy this man. Scatter his life. Destroy whatever he represents so that the body of Christ will be affected. That is the assignment. There is a spirit assigned to me because I'm on earth. There is a spirit assigned to your family. Are we together now? There are spirits assigned to regions. As soon as you enter that region, it's like a register in the spirit. This person has arrived. There is a scan in the spirit. What authority level do you have? Nothing. This is just a noise maker, church goer. He's welcome. Join the bandwagon of slaves. So you come into a city, I want to do business in Abuja, I want to do business in Lagos, I'm a graduate. All that is a spirit, it's just a talk. From the realm of the spirit, you find out that you lose everything and you don't know what is happening. Listen to what I'm telling you. There are spirits that are assigned to marriages. A husband and a wife who love themselves, as soon as they say I do, the spirits are witnesses. Two weeks later, the man is tired, wants to slap the woman. And you counsel the man and he will sit down and even be counseling others and say, be good to your wife. Be fair to people. And once it's done, you will beat his own wife. It's not that the man is evil. There are spirits. And we keep saying we have authority, but we do not have understanding. When Jesus got into, I hope you know that the spirits in Gadara were the ones who created the storm. When Jesus was on his way coming, they knew that deliverance was coming and they raised a storm. You don't tell a storm, peace be still. No. As soon as Jesus arrived Gadara, nobody told the madman that he had arrived. The spirits knew. They were waiting for him there as soon as he arrived. What have you come to do now? And Jesus said, said do you know what? Let's negotiate. We are responsible for this place. The businesses that prosper in this place are in partnership with us. That is why immediately they left that man. Some people's businesses went down because the businesses were connected to that fraternity. So you step into Abuja and you do not know the age-long spirit. You've been prospering every other place, but bankrupt of spiritual intelligence. And you may sincerely say, well, I'm a child of God. I'm a believer. And you are right. But because you do not understand how to administer authority. All my business starts and your staff will start stealing. Even the most honest person in your company, honest people, they start changing in ways you do not understand. And you are sincere. Sometimes you think the solution is money. You carry one million. Okay, take man of God and drive these demons. And they don't go anywhere. Because you must understand the rules of engagement. And the person goes down. There are cities when you enter, you become poor to look like the city. No matter how blessed you are, there is a spirit that makes men to look like the, the city. There are people who go abroad for 10 years, 20 years. They excel. But it's like a trajectory. They come down when they are 80, 70 years old. They become like they are yesterday. And they will tell you stories. I was once in the White House. I was once, and you are saying, so what happened to you? Hallelujah. There are spirits that are responsible for stunting growth and advancement. So the moment out of a family of 10 people, you suddenly emerge and you are the person rising. 
you don't have to be bad. The fact that in your rising is the salvation of many, here comes the spirits assigned to you. And you just hear that the breadwinner of this family just died in an accident. One mad bike man just came. He did not just come. You are just watching physical things there. There are spirits assigned. I'm saying to someone again, in the name of my God and your God, every spirit that has been assigned to mock God over your life, may it give way right now. 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 Hallelujah. You see, there are many ways to enjoy the authority that immunes you against sickness or against unclean.